Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. I'm in my backyard and today I got a great video I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, when you're creating butterfly habitat, it's critical to have host plants. And specifically, I'm going to talk to you about the host plants for the monarch butterfly today. It includes six different species that grow well in northern climates. So I'm going to talk to you. What was that? It was like couple of big herons flying by me. Wow, crazy day in the backyard. So monarch butterflies need host plants like any butterflies do, but they specifically survive on one key plant. It's the milkweed plant. And milkweed's been reduced in numbers due to agriculture, herbicides, pesticides, development, all those things have limited how many milkweed plants are left in, in the world. So today I'm going to talk to you about a variety of different milkweeds that you can plant in northern climates that create great habitat for the monarch butterfly. So I hope you like my video. I hope you subscribe to my channel, like it, comment, uh, share with me what you're doing with your milkweed plants and what you're doing to help butterflies. So again, I'm going to talk to you about six specific species today of milkweed that grow great in northern climates. So let's get on with it. All right, the showiest of all the milkweed plants is the butterfly weed or the butterfly flower, butterfly milkweed. It comes with a little narrower leaf than the common milkweed, but it gets these great orange blooms that are blooming throughout the summer. So it's a great flower. I anchor it in multiple spots in my garden. It is one of the last uh, perennials to come back every year. So be patient. Sometimes it can take till June before it comes back. It grows great in sun, almost any soil. Just it doesn't like really wet soil. It doesn't really like the shade, but otherwise it'll be a really hardy flower for you. Each year it'll come back bigger and bigger. So it grows about 24 to 30 inches tall. Uh, I space them maybe 20, 24 inches apart so there's room for them to grow. I've probably got eight of these. This one actually is a yellow blooming flower that's been bred. So most the natural one is orange. So I've got a couple yellow. Most of the ones I have in my garden are orange. So the showiest one, the butterfly flower, get it in your garden. All right, the next milkweed I'm gonna share with you is the swamp milkweed. It's a great flower. It grows a little taller than the butterfly weed or common milkweed, sometimes 36 to 40 inches tall. And because the swamp milkweed's the name, it grows a little better near wet areas, right? So it does best in full sun, a little wetter soil than maybe some of the other milkweeds, but it, it doesn't do as well in dry climates. So it creates this really cool pink flower, which is a great nectar flower for all kinds of pollinators butterflies, monarchs, um, bees, hummingbirds, all will enjoy this flower. So put this in your garden, add it to a spot where it's got room to grow. Keep it like 20, 24 inches apart from the other uh, plants you plant so and it'll come back every year also. All right, the workhorse of the milkweed family is the common milkweed, right? Common, it grows anywhere. It's easy to grow all kinds of soils. It does like a lot of sun. And what's really unique, it can grow from seed, but it also grows through the root system. So as the roots expand underground, different sprouts will come up. And so you want to give it a plenty of room for it to grow. So if you have a really tight garden, it might not be the best milkweed choice, but if you have room like I have, it grows and you keep getting additional sprouts every year. So it can grow 36 inches tall, creates really cool pink fragrant, fragrant flowers, uh, attracts all kinds of pollinators, but the leaves are hardier. They're bigger than some of the other milkweeds I've discussed today. So it creates tons of food for the caterpillar. And that's what milkweed's all about. A host plant is where the monarch butterfly can lay its eggs and then the caterpillars have food to eat. Then it also, the bonus is it has these great flowers that create pollinations for the butterflies. So let's take a, a better look at some of the milkweed that's coming up this spring in my garden. So here's the new shoots. We're right at the end of May, beginning of June. They're coming up. They've come up for a number of years. And this is the best 
time of year because monarchs are looking for places to lay their eggs and caterpillars love these young new sprouts. So I'm excited to start looking for eggs and see if I can get my first monarch caterpillar. So this whole back row of my garden is all common milkweed, the workhorse of the milkweed family. All right, the next milkweed I'm going to talk to you about is the purple milkweed. This is a really cool flower. It's a little more upright than the common milkweed, although it looks a bit like the common milkweed, but it has this really cool magenta type colored flower. So um, great if you can establish it. It's much more rare than some of the other milkweeds I'm going to talk about today, and it can take three or four years to get it going in your garden, but it's really rewarding if you can establish it. All right, the next milkweed I'm going to talk to you about is the poke milkweed. So this is a great milkweed. It comes up earlier in the spring than a lot of the other milkweeds we've talked about. So it's great for those early arrivals of the monarch butterfly. Uh, to get it going, though, it might take two or three years before it gets three to four feet. It doesn't need as much sun as some of the other um, milkweeds we've talked about. So on the edges of forests and it can take a little bit of shade. So it creates a great flower similar to common milkweed just it's white with pink and green tips. Uh, great elegance, great scent. The last milkweed I'm going to talk to you about is the world milkweed. So it's the smallest of the species you find in the north. It's got these very fine textured needle-like leaves arranged uh, in whorls around a two foot tall stem. And the seed, po seed pods are also really thin also relative to the other milkweeds we've looked at today. Uh, the blooms often go late into the fall, into September, cream colored, upright facing. It likes the sun, uh, well-drained soil, but it also, also will tolerate like sandy soil. So it's maybe an option for your garden. All right, I hope you've enjoyed the video on milkweed and learned about six different milkweeds that grow great in northern climates. Help out, plant some of these milkweed plants, create more habitat for the monarch butterfly. So that's all I have today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out and have a great day.